KJ, how often do you keep the ball afterward? Well, that's only my second one. So the first one I kept it, and then that one in a dramatic fashion. So uh, my mom been asking for my last one, so I can go to her. <laughs> The first one was in uh, Arizona. When a team comes back like that, the perception is they have the momentum, and yet you got the ball and run down the field. What made you keep your mind right? Because it looked like you had the game won. Yeah, we just, I mean, you just got to lock in and, and keep playing every play. Um, you know, obviously there's there's big momentum plays. We talk about playing complimentary football. So, you know, uh, they went down to score. They had the momentum. But, you know, it's, it's football. You know, cancel out the noise. And offense, we lock in, laser focus, and do our job. Go down there and uh, get points on the board and win the game. That's what we did. Took a little time for them to review. Were you pretty confident you got in now? Oh, yeah, I, I was confident. That's why I threw my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Could you take us through the third down catch first? What did you see there? Pretty... The third down catch was um, it was a, it was a keeper, or, you know, I rolled out to the right, and I was uh, the backside, like the last read. So um, usually it comes out pretty quick. But if not, you know, that's probably some some confusion going on over there or something. So uh, I had man to man, and uh, you know, I went up and, and stair stepped and sprinted across the field. And um, line protected well, gave Kurt some time. He found me. Um, they're on the back, so uh, right. that, was, that was a big play. Are you expecting the ball in such a deep situation at the end to get the ball? Because Kirk seems to have done this consistently now for him. Um, I've learned that I, that can kind of happen like a tendency, but what I've learned and, and taught myself um, playing under Adam and Justin is to expect the ball every play. It doesn't matter, um, you know, what the play call is and what route I am and what read. I'm trying to expect the ball every play like I'm the number one lead. So um, that way, you know, if it does come to me, if it doesn't come to me, you know, I can do my job if I was over. So um, that's all I try to do is run every route hard and like I'm a, the main option. You guys haven't scored an offensive touchdown in the second half since week one. How good did it feel to kind of start getting rolling offensively there in the third quarter? It felt good. It felt good. That's something that we, we uh, emphasized this week in practice and we talked about, you know, uh, in our meeting room in the last couple of weeks um, is, you know, we got to start faster in the second half and we got to score points in the second half. So um, to, to go out there and do that, um, that's good. You know, we're going to keep on working. Did it feel like you guys were chasing that missed two-point conversion you know, throughout the game? It felt like those two points were just 12-10, kind of not being able to get ahead of yourselves the way that you wanted to? Right. Um, no, I, I don't think so. Um, there still was so much happening in that game, and there was you know a bunch of ups and downs. I think what happened in the first quarter? The yeah, first quarter, I mean, like I said, there was so much going on. You know, the next play, you know, we can't go back on it. Um, we're, just, we're just trying to score every drive, so it don't matter. You know what we did, um, but you know, thanks for the question, offense. So. Hey, what were those uh, adjustments that you guys made in the second half offensively to kind of get it back on track? Well, I feel like we left some plays out there. Uh, we all felt like that, you know, that even in like the first half. You know, the game was closer than, than it should have been. Offensively, we felt like we left some some plays out there. Um, so in the second half, you know, it was, it was a dog fight. You know, you know that's what we was in. So you know, Dalvin yelling around the locker room. You know, in, in, uh, in the first half, you know, it's a dog fight. You know, strap up. You know, we, we went out there and uh, we just got to execute. And that's, that's what it came down to, um, just executing. And, and that's what we were able to do. AJ, take us to the touchdown. What, what are you seeing? What, uh... Well, uh, I lined up and uh, you know, I tried not to, to give it away. Um, so I kind of peeked in my peripheral, you know, see the coverage. Um, and I knew, you know, that that corner of the end zone couldn't be open. So uh, I spread it, uh, didn't get touched. I seen there was you know, me one-on-one -on -one with the safety. So I, you know, tried to set him up a little bit and plan it and sprint it. And, um, I knew Kurt would probably leave me a little bit because there was some room over there. And um, I, I turned, and it was up. And it, was my, it was my turn to make a play, so that's what I did. Um, I, just, I just made a play. Obviously, it was a, a huge play, but um, it felt really good. So you tried not to give it up and go on to you the whole time, you think? No. It was, I'm the, like, I am I'll probably second read on that because um, I'm, I'm high and Justin is low, so that means the corner was probably down, and it was me and the safety one-on-one, -on -one, and the nickel probably uh, carried Conk out there. So um, it was, like I said, it was probably me and him one on one, but I just wasn't, didn't want to like, you know, just give it away, you know, looking around, you know, things like that. So I just kind of lined up in my peripheral and like, you know, this could do it. So I was able to do it. Do you benefit from having, you know, Justin the bigger names around you that maybe people might be looking at more? Of course. Like, <laughs> you know, cover those guys and leave me up and that's, that's love. That's cool. But, um, you know, I, I get in there and I do my dirty work, you know, trying to, um, you know, chip those, those big ends coming off, you know, so give Kurt and, you know, the line help so those guys can make big plays down the field. Um, I, you know, like I said, I think I've said it before, you know, I'm, I'm so blessed to be able to play with those guys. Um, I mean, Justin's even younger than me, you know, and they, they teach me so much, um, you know, just by, you know, their actions um, and, you know, how they play the game, and uh, I love that. So um, that helps me as a learner just to get better at my craft. What's this season been like in just every game comes down to about the last play? Yeah, <laughs> up and down and, like, you know, just like a bunch of anxiety, but um, when you look back on it, but, you know, in the game, it's, um, it's laser focus. You know, sometimes, 
we wish we would have got ourselves in that situation, but it is what it is. You know, we can't we can't change it like I said before. So um, locked in, laser focus, and you know we gotta go do it. And I think that the good thing is we've had success. Um, you know, whatever the time was, you know, um, going down before the end of regulation, and last week we did it in Arizona and the Bengals. So um, we're able to execute. You know, we've done it. So I think that gives us confidence. We practiced two minutes. You know, ever since you know OTAs. You know, so we're executing that. So um, if it does come down to that, you know, I think we're doing a good job of you know trying to help our team win. You also had to catch on the third and three play earlier in the overtime drive to the long the other sidelines. What did you see on that? That was a uh, that was an individual route, Tad. I was at the H position at that at that time, um, and it was like an individual, you know, one on one. Um, so I, you know, I just kind of set him up, and um, I think everybody like cleared out. I think that's the play was, and I was able uh, to come across the middle. I knew Kurt would leave me a little bit, um, so you know, I tried to run as far as I can, protect the ball. You know, I know uh, they didn't have much time unless I just got down. KJ, you talk about the endings. It seems like it's always coming down to Greg Joseph too. What was it like after he had missed a couple there on the sideline, and how are how are team how are teammates kind of rallying around him at that point? Oh, we always got to rally around him. Like I said, that's that's our guy. You know, like I said, these other times, you know, I'm not the type of person that you know looks and like uh, woulda, coulda, shoulda. You know, we're in the situation. This is what we got. So you know, he missed it. Okay, you know, go up, clap him up. You know, you got the next one, and we're gonna keep on rolling. That's that's all it is. Um, Obviously disappointing, like you want to make it, but I want to make every catch. You know, some t- some catches I don't make. Um, but again, we, we rallied behind him. That's our guy, and uh, we on to the next play and laser focus. KJ, you talked about Dalvin saying he had to have that you know dogfight mentality. He comes back over 100 yards of touchdown again. Just how much of an importance he is to get you guys going? He's huge, man. He's huge. Um, just just being here. You know, ever since I got here, um, he's a Miami guy. See, I went to Miami, um, so he's been looking out for me. And um, this is leadership in the locker room. In the weight room, how he practices, um, you know, and then you know the, the plays that he go out and make are special. That's what makes him the best back in the league. And um, just to have him back was, was huge. Um, to go along with, with Alexander Madison, you know, that that, that one-two punch. Um, so that was huge, and you know, his leadership is huge. So it's, um, I'm glad I'm playing with him. Hello, Coach Zimmer up next.